so, so I talked a little about the, about this during the intro, where where kind of Squaresville, I think, occupies this uh, space that's in between lots of other programs out there. Um, and one of the reasons it occupies that space is because of all the interactivity involved in the series. So, can you talk a little bit about like the like, the conception behind that, the execution, and what goes on? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I think that the the fun thing about doing something on YouTube is that uh, you have the opportunity to interact with people like you guys, right? So. Um, I see so many people just make a short little TV show, and that's, you know, you're missing half of the fun. Um, so we knew that we wanted to make it, uh, you know, internet native, I like to say. Um, so kind of as we were going, we were constantly like on set, like, oh, wouldn't it be great if we could talk to people in this way or that way? And that's kind of where the Q&A videos came from, uh, and the behind the scenes videos. It was just kind of a way to really like make sure that we could explicitly talk to you guys and, and tell you where we're coming from, kind of from like behind the scenes, basically. You know, I feel like um, narrative shows kind of have a hard time with uh, interaction sometimes because you don't want to have the veil of characters lifted. Um, and so, I mean, obviously people have figured out some really exciting ways to do that now. Um, but at the time, it was still something that was, was growing. And I feel like the whole cast has had a really great time with interacting with people, you know, either through the videos or, or on Tumblr or Twitter, wherever else we live. Um, yeah, for the for the actors on, on stage, was this kind of uh, a new experience for you with this level of interactivity with the web series? Yes. Um, <laughs> it, it's really funny because my web is, uh, my world is not web at all. I, you know, grew up as a child actor. I've, you know, been in TV mostly. And it's kind of a whole new ball game, but it's actually the coolest place to be because I, you know, I'm on Tumblr, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook and, and people are like, oh my god, I love your show, I want to hang out with you and everything and, and it's really cool that I can interact with people like that because I've never had this experience like that and it's just, it's amazing because, you know, I just reblog pictures of pugs and Bradley Cooper <laughs> and people, I, I do that a lot actually and, but yeah, no, it, it's just great because it's like, uh, people get to see who you are when you're not on a show, and I, I really, I really appreciate that. It's really cool. So, it's not. This is not something you get to do in movies, you know, or TV. Which don't get me wrong, I, I love doing movies, and I have a lot of them coming out. So you should stay tuned. Um, but you know, like the web is the only way that you get to really, especially you know, <clears throat> if you're not a movie star. Which surprise, we're not. Um, you know, uh, we will be. <laughs> that you get to see people and talk to them, and that that's you guys are the reason that we do this. You are the reason that I said, hey, I'm going to move to LA and become an actor because I know how I feel when I watch stories, and I want to do that for other people. Um, so it's just so exciting for us, and, and, and you know, as everything moves towards the web, which I, I think it clearly is, and that's why we're all here, it's very exciting for us to get to be building, you know, a group of friends, and that's you guys, and we hope that you will, you know, be with us as we grow and do other things. Has there been some favorite um, kind of fan interaction experiences that, that you guys all have, or some, some top choices? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, for me, the, the thing that was the most fun was, um, I think it's in the, the episode that we're going to show, but uh, in the exterior shot for the... Um, for the the school, we have people's names from Tumblr that were like, uh, you know, reblogged us and we've been communicating with um, as like regional champs in, in the episode. But so that's my personal favorite because it, it's rare that you get to really weave something into the story exactly. But um, let's, uh, let's, let's show oh, that yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, that would be amazing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, but those are all people, sorry, those are all people who, um, we interacted with on Tumblr, and then we added them later. Uh, and also, uh, we voted on the um, the motto for the high school on Facebook, where everyone can maybe succeed. <laughs> I think that was a, uh, a fan submission. As well. <laughs> so, uh, has has there been other um, moments like this in the series? Um, that's that's the most um, that's, the, that's the most in depth. But absolutely, like um, with the Q and A's, um, we're constantly questions from people and interact with that way. Um, also sometimes you'll have uh, on Facebook you can vote on the thumbnail yes. that we'll do for, for the episode. So sometimes you'll do... Or like um, there was that behind the scenes that you did uh, 
on Tiffany where um, you were like, click here, here, or here. Yeah. That, those were all the, the channels that we were linking to were yeah. suggestions from fans also. Yeah. Um, but I, I feel like I love to see like, um, like the mashup fan art as well with something that's really great. Like uh, there was a Harry Potter one. That you kind of it over. Oh my god, yes. It's awesome. Mm. So exciting. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's every once in a while I will be around these two when we get fan art. And <laughs> we to see lose them it. like lose it. I was on set for this other movie that I was doing called The Sound of the Shadow when we got our very first fan art from this guy called George Kambadias, who lives in Greece. And the show <laughs> was not it's out cool. yet. Yeah. And it was of me, it's a cartoon of me saying, I'll be a space pirate, and I flipped out. <laughs> because nobody's ever drawn me before, <laughs> let alone somebody who lives in Greece, and it's awesome. And everybody was like, Ray can't calm down, you're shooting something else right now. And I was like, no, you guys want me to shoot it? <laughs> well, and my favorite one, um, somebody drew, I think it may have been the same person who did the Harry Potter, but, um, he drew a Calvin and Hobbes inspired of Esther and Zelda. And I literally, I was with my mom and I started screaming. And she was like, okay, what the hell are you talking about right now? And I showed her and she was like, oh my God, this is the coolest thing ever. And she got more excited than me. And that's hard. Also, I, I saw just recently someone did uh, put a, a picture of a pillow over Austin's face. Oh yes. Yeah, I'm such a pillowy dream. 